Uh, I am in the programming track, and I actually chose it. Uh, the primary reason is I graduated with uh, my undergrad in uh, computer science and computer engineering uh, to a dual degree, actually, uh, from USF. FIA, I uh, hadn't heard of until my uh, senior year at uh, my undergrad. Um, Tom Carbone and Mike Grillet, the two programming uh, leads, uh, had come out to demonstrate the big game from the, uh, from the third cohort. And uh, at that point, when I saw what one group of master's level students had done, I decided, no, this, this is definitely the way to break into uh, doing video games. Um, okay, uh, my current project, uh, we actually don't have a title for our game yet, um, but it is a, uh, it's a cooperative uh, third-person uh, platforming game. Uh, currently, my primary focus has been on uh, integrating uh, physics uh, simulations into the game and getting things like our two characters are chained together with a physical chain. Um, actually building out that chain and connecting the, those two characters together. Um, obviously it's a group effort, uh, but a, a lot of that has been uh, stuff that I've been researching and working on. Um, it, it was a little difficult to try and formulate any expectations. Uh, after speaking extensively uh, with uh, Todd uh, for admissions and with uh, with uh, Tom Carbone, uh, the the one real expectation uh, that I got out of this um, was that the knowledge I'd be getting here would be very applicable and very real world experience. And I have to say, from from what I've seen and what I've experienced so far, it definitely lives up to every every word that they've said. Uh, up to and including all of the uh, the difficulties associated with with doing that. <laughs> Honestly, the the one thing that really has surprised me so far is um, I don't get the typical feel of being around a group of uh, traditional computer nerds and geeky type people. Uh, everybody is just very real, very down to earth. And it's, it's really interesting to be around such a diverse group of people. Um, my biggest challenge is uh, trying, to, uh, trying to pace myself. Uh, there's a lot of work and it's a very, uh, very hardcore program. Uh, and so trying to manage uh, my own personal life and combining it with uh, all of the, the work here at FIA, uh, that, that's probably been the most difficult part for me. That one's, that one's actually difficult for me because no matter how much somebody warns you about something ahead of time, uh, it's easy to say, okay, yes, I'll, I'll heed that advice, but until you get there in the thick of things, it doesn't really apply. So I'm seeing now that uh, Tom and Rick and all of the teachers that I'd spoken to beforehand, oh, they had given you the warnings, but until you're there and experiencing it, it's difficult to try and uh, preemptively follow those. So I, I, don't, I don't think there's really any, any one thing that I would have wished somebody had told me ahead of time. My favorite part about FIA has got to be the enthusiasm that everybody has Everybody wants to be here. Everybody wants to do the exact same thing. You know, everybody is just enamored of video games to the same level, uh, but they also have that same uh, drive to succeed at what they're doing. Uh, and so that, that's what really sets it apart from uh, the, the previous experiences I've had, at least, uh, in schools. Um, I had done some uh, limited group activity, um, but it was nothing uh, as intense as uh, the, the group projects here. Uh, so it, that piece, I'd say, doesn't really even, doesn't even compare uh, to the group dynamics and the amount of work that's done uh, by, by the entire group here. 
one of one of the most beneficial things that I think uh, about uh, my time here and my experiences has been getting to use uh, industry level tools, uh, things like your Visual Studios, uh, Maya, um, Perforce, these kinds of programs that you don't necessarily get outside of a program like this. Um, but in addition to that, it's also uh, going back to that group dynamic, learning how to actually integrate different skill sets between people and uh, using those to coalesce and produce a whole uh, product at the end of it. I have wanted to uh, work in an industry either directly within video games or a, a periphery industry uh, for many years. That, that was one of my driving forces behind going into computers in the first place. Um, uh, as far as my degree here at FIA is concerned, um, I can certainly see uh, benefits to what you learn here to uh, multiple of applications. It's not strictly video games because it teaches you uh, teamwork, it teaches you a method of solving problems that you may not have seen before. Um, and so I may at some point down the line move away from uh, the video game industry, uh, but I still see uh, my, the knowledge I learned here as being extremely beneficial. Honestly, on, on a general level will be fulfilled uh, the minute I get hired out of here to work for a video game company. Um, as far as like a penultimate goal, um, I think I would love to work for, um, for, so, for somebody groundbreaking. Um, not necessarily specifically a Blizzard or a Nintendo, uh, but somebody that walks in their shoes and produces that next big thing, whatever it is, either software or hardware, uh, to, to kind of revolutionize the industry. Um, my advice for future students uh, would, would probably be uh, take, take the time uh, to get as much out of uh, what you're doing as you can. Uh, a lot of the, the grad student experience in general, and even more specifically here, um, there is a lot of kind of independent study. And so you really do get out what you put in. And so I, I think it's very important to really put in that 110% so you can just absolutely get as much out of the program as you, as you possibly can. Strangely enough, um, because of the uh, requirements of the program, I'm not playing a lot of games at the moment. Um, uh, my wife and I actually uh, both play uh, World of Warcraft. Um, as a method of kind of staying in contact because of the amount of time that I have to spend uh, both here at school physically and just uh, working on, on school projects in general.